enjoying this assignment, Keith. Mm -hmm. Well, over the next 10 days, you may see, or see and hear a lot of different aircraft in the skies over Tampa, from helicopters to fighter aircraft. It's part of the increased security for Super Bowl 55. There are also more restrictions for drone pilots and private pilots. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson is at MacDill Air Force Base with all the details. Jeff? Stacy, I can kick field goals too. I went to high school with Scott Norwood. Unfortunately, mine usually go wide right. <laughs> if you live around MacDill Air Force Base, you may have noticed fighter aircraft this week taking off and landing. Well, as the big game draws closer, you may notice more air activity. The Super Bowl is one of the nation's premier events, a time when Tampa will be on the worldwide stage. This week, the Department of Homeland Security put out a warning against domestic terror, saying ideologically motivated violent extremists pose a threat. That's just one concern for the FBI leading up to the Super Bowl. We are absolutely watching social media for things that uh, would be of concern or could potentially turn into uh, extremist type activity. That is one of many things that we are doing. That's on the ground. In the skies above Tampa, helicopters, even fighter aircraft will be used this week to keep everyone safe. Not just the game. All, all week there's uh, multiple events going on. We will have uh, aircraft in place and assets on the ground to make sure that uh, everyone's safe. There are now strict flight restrictions in place around Raymond James Stadium, and those restrictions will increase as the game draws closer. So if anybody violates the airspace in and around the uh, Tampa Bay area uh, during the time that it's active, then they will be met by one of these U-860s. Even drone pilots face tough new restrictions. Starting today at the Tampa Riverwalk and, and within a two-mile radius of the Riverwalk, drones are prohibited through most of the coming week. Drone pilots or drone operators can face fines up to $30,000 for violations. Private pilots and aircraft can lose their licenses or even be jailed for violating air restrictions. Live at McDill, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.